Hi, I'm at the Moon Exhibit at Questacon and the reason people are lying down is because there is a giant 7 metre moon here. Check it out. It's awesome and apparently it is uh, completely accurate of course to scale and the detail in that is actually quite remarkable. Very impressed. Awesome. I think I'll go have a lie down. Somehow I don't recall that dark spot. I'm not sure what's going on there. That must be the secret Nazi moon base. And this is the actual recording, reel to reel recording cabinet used to record the moon landing footage. Fantastic. Uh, from uh, the tracking station, circa 1967, massive 2 meg, um, 64,000 reels equals one smartphone. And I love how they've got to uh, relate it to the modern smartphone. These machines record the signal sent from the Apollo 11 crew. Uh, it's a bit dark in here, but uh, I'm going to have to uh, get the torch out. And the man standing next to it is John Saxon. He's one of the trackers. And <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he was, you were there on the day. Fantastic, and he's right next to the original cabinet. There's the original asset label, I'm assuming, and just some standalone caps. Love the connector plate in there, and that would be the back motor drive of the reel to reel deck. Some assembly with a bare board, and I love the point-to-point, uh, -point, classic point-to-point -point wiring and the screw terminals. Fantastic. Couple of fans to keep it all flowing. And there's the uh, other uh, motor for the other tape drive. There is a modern board in there and I'm not sure what the deal is there. Maybe because it's a display item now they had it uh, do some stuff, perhaps? Or they just tried to get it back into service, or it was modernised at one point, maybe? Not sure. But, uh, love the ribbon cables. And that has a vacuum port on the back of it. That's very interesting. So that's the back of those four modules we saw in the front. If we go around, we can... And... Oh! There we go. Yes, almost. So that one required the port. The analog conditioner required the vacuum port, did it? That's interesting. And that looks pretty modern. That doesn't look uh, that doesn't look vintage at all. And here's the reel-to-reel -reel tapes. They actually recorded the moon footage directly onto these. Got an analog conditioner, Mark III head controller. Love it. There's read-write power distribution, inferometrics Mark II system, no idea what that is. And they're write drivers in those black rack cards there. And power supply, big knife switch, lovely. 2N5880. And <laughs> we found a day code. 76, 1976. So that is uh, not the original, they have upgraded it. Not surprising, they would have made uh, changes for the various uh, missions and whatnot. If we go down to the power supply, I'm going to assume that A11 means Apollo 11, although that's pretty specific. Could just be a coinky dink. Aha, uh -huh, I found it. Yes, it has been modernised. The, uh, the Neroc Haystack Observatory in 1991, so that board was added much later along with all these other boards in here as well so they were yeah the rack's been modernized for various uses over the years but uh, it is the original rack that was uh, used to record the Apollo 11 footage fantastic